Welcome back to Google Guru. This video is brought to you by NeoNova. Hi everyone, my name is Bob Butchko and I'm with NeoNova Network Services. Today we're going to talk about how you can add drop down lists to a cell within a Google spreadsheet, which can be very useful in order to allow collaborators to enter in preset values and also you can control what they're allowed to enter into cells as well. The first thing you need to do is create a Google spreadsheet. So log into your Gmail, click Drive at the top of the page. Now you can either open an existing spreadsheet or you can create a new Google spreadsheet. And I've already got one created, so we're going to go over to that pre-existing demo spreadsheet. In this particular instance, I've created a customer representative evaluation spreadsheet. So what we want to do is put in a list of preset values for the ratings. The first thing we need to do is create an additional tab. So we're going to add an additional worksheet by clicking the plus down at the bottom of our spreadsheet editor. And then we're going to double click on the name and rename that to be ratings. Now within here we just need to type in our ratings. And I've already got those pre-made to save us a little bit of time so let me just copy those and paste them in. But you can put in whatever values you want to have appear inside of your drop down list. Now we'll go back to our evaluation ratings worksheet and then select the range of cells that need to have the drop down list in them. And then right click and go to data validation. We want to set the criteria to be the ratings that we just typed in. So we can either start typing that in or an even easier way is to click this get data range button off to the side of the field. And then we can go over to our ratings worksheet and select our range of values and click OK. Now we have a couple of options. You can either show a warning if somebody does not put in a value from this list or what I usually select is reject that input and then they can only enter things from your list of acceptable values. Now I always select to display an incel button so that they know it's a drop down. You can also show help if you want. That'll make a little message appear when they click on that cell. We're not going to do that for this demonstration, but that is also an option. And then click Save. And now you'll see when we go back to our evaluations worksheet, there's a little drop down icon in each of these cells. And if you click it, you'll be able to select from the drop down list. And what's even nicer is now when people start typing, if it matches one of those values, it will auto complete. So you can just very quickly type in the first letter or number and hit Enter. And it's very easy to quickly fill out this form. I hope this was very useful to you, everybody. Enjoy your Google Apps, and have a great day.